All right, guys, we are going to get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my page. My name's Grace. For those of you who might not know me, thank you for choosing to align your body through my workout today. It is a full body workout. We will be using some equipment. If this is your first time on my page, I highly suggest that you leave these um, equipment out. It is going to be a little bit more intermediate advanced. So I highly suggest you just focus on your body movements today, get that mind body connection going. Um, also, my friends, we are in the month of May and we are on day six of our challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. I chose to do this challenge just because I wanted to commit to myself for the month of May, just seeing how much um, time I allocate towards myself. And so I joined, I made this challenge in, in hopes that people would join and just find themselves here for a safe place. So thank you for being here. If you are a subscriber and you have come back, we are so strong, we can do this. And let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start on our mat today. We're going to come into a quadruple position. So four point stance. We're going to align our hips over our knees and our shoulders over our wrist. We're going to take a deep inhale and you're going to drop your belly. Look up. Exhale. You're going to curl your tailbone. Really lift through your um, spine up into the sky. You almost look like a mad cat. Beautiful. Inhale. So we're just going to start by adding some fluidity into our body. Some organic movements here with our spine. And aligning our breath with our movements. The most important thing throughout your practice is to breathe. Don't worry about the range of motions that you're doing. Leave all your judgment behind and just focus on breath and movement. Yes. Inhale, exhale. As you're doing this, maybe you add a little bit more of an organic movement and you start swirling your hips to the side, making some figure eights or circles whatever feels good to you. As you're doing this, maybe you think of an intention for the time being on your mat. You think of a word, maybe it's grace, maybe it's power, maybe it's just being present. But you set that intention on the top of your head, hopes that it can continue to align you throughout your mat time. All right, my friends. We're going to find our neutral position. We're going to lift that right leg up, left leg up. You're going to bring it out to the side and then do little circles going forward. Yes. So clockwise. Beautiful. Just opening up through our hips here. You might hear a little crackling. <laughs> and then we're going to reverse. Beautiful. Keeping our weight down the middle, not dumping onto the right side. So feeling those arms activate as well. Beautiful. Bring it down. Other side. So do those nice circles. Lift that knee up. Circle it around. Yes. Two more. And one. Beautiful. Reverse. Four, four. Three, two, and one. Can you lower both legs down? Tuck your toes under. Inhale, exhale, lift up, downward dog. Beautiful. And just find this nice lengthening through your back. Feel that nice stretch. Fingertips are stretching away from you. Maybe you bend your knees and straighten your legs. Bend your knees and straighten. Yes. Beautiful. Warming up to the back side of our legs. Four more. Three. Two. And walk. Walk your feet forward towards your hands. Find a nice little rag doll here. You got it. Let your spine go. 
May we just sway back and forth. So yummy. Beautiful. All right, my friends, place your hands down onto your mat and slowly start rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way to the top. Roll those shoulders back. Take a deep inhale, hands up. Exhale, pray your hands. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, my friends, if you have those ankle weights, go ahead and put them on now. If you don't, or this is your first time, or maybe your body is sore from whatever, just go ahead and leave them out. Take it easy. We are here for the movement, not for <clears throat> judgment. So you're going to find yourself standing up. You're going to bring your heels together. Your toes are going to be about a fist distance apart, just slightly as wide as your hips. You're going to take a deep inhale. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to find this nice zipped up position. So we're going to tuck our tailbone just a slight bit. So our hip bones and pubic bones are in the same plane. So if you want to place your hand in front of you, feel those protruding bones, feel that plane. You want to feel like you're in between two glass panes and you're going to breathe. Bring your hands out to the side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Roll your shoulders back. Really engage through your core. Turn on those buttons, right? We're going to pretend we have buttons down our core and they're turning on one by one. So right below our pubic bones, right below our belly button, above our belly button, down by our rib cage, and on our sternum. We have this nice zipped up buttons and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands in front of us cross them you're going to take a deep inhale you're going to lift your right knee up towards your right elbow you're going to tap it down you're going to open up your hands out to a t and try to tap that knee towards your right elbow again tap it down cross your arms lift tap down lift yes beautiful so we're going to start working with our legs here. Standing position, working really hard through the inner thighs and our core, as well as our <laughs> balance. So that working leg is super strong. And we're gonna start feeling it in our thigh as well. Beautiful, let's do two more. And the power of one beautiful from here you're gonna leave that knee lifted can you just extend your leg out bring it back in extend out and in four four three two and one sweep that leg behind you keep that straight leg in front with your supporting leg maybe you bring your hands out to your hips just tap those toes down and lift little lift engaging through that core as well as that glute you got six five four three two smile and one beautiful from here can you kick your back knee towards the front Extend your leg out and sweep it back. Beautiful. Maybe you keep your hands on your hips. Maybe you keep them crossed in front of you. But we're going to do this nice little bicycle, standing bicycle here. Two more going forward. Kick and extend and lift. Then we're going to reverse it. You're going to kick back and lift for four really keeping your balance here three two and one beautiful bring that right leg down and we're going to go to the left leg starting with the crossing our hands we're going to bring that knee to your elbow hands out wide knee out wide yes so that's why we started with those circles to get a little bit of fluid 
into our hip flexors, our hip joints. Really using your breath, inhale, exhale, lift. Beautiful, two more. And a power of one. This time, can you lift your leg up, extend that left forward, bring it back. Forward, back. Six, five, four, navel to your spine. Three, keep that supporting leg grounded. And one, kick that leg back. All we're doing is lowering and lifting. Lowering and lifting. Six, five, four, keep that chest lifted. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna kick that leg forward, kick it back for six, five, four, three, whoops. It is not easy, guys. Two, and one, reverse that kick. Make it go back. Maybe you put your hands on your waist. Whoops. Four, four, three, two, two, and one. Beautiful. You're gonna extend your legs out wide. Lower, grab those weights in front of you. Beautiful. We're gonna start with a little bit of a side lunge to the right, lift up. Side lunge to the right, lift up. So we're really pushing those glutes towards that back wall. Yes. And finding that little lift through our glute. Yes, we got six. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Four more. Three. Chest is open and wide. Lifted. Two. And one. Beautiful. You're going to come on over. You're going to twist your body towards the right. Finding this long lunge position. Beautiful. From here, my friends, you're going to extend your hands out, palms facing up in front of you. On your exhale, you're going to bring them back behind you, lengthen through that right leg. So you're going to straighten that leg, right leg out. You're going to bend through your right knee, lengthen. Bend, lift your arms, bring them back, lengthen. For eight. Seven. You're going to keep that back heel lifted. Six. Five, four, keep those hands out straight, three, two, keep that knee over your heel, and one. Beautiful. From here, can you kick your back leg up and float it up in the air? Your hands are going to be out in front of you. Beautiful. We're gonna hold this position here. We're gonna bring our hands, elbows out wide. We're going to tap our back leg down as we open up our hands into this W, little butterfly. Close and lift. Beautiful. So we're working those back muscles. You wanna pretend like you're pulling your shoulders towards each other when you lift and lower lift and lower two more <sighs> navel to your spine and lift beautiful you're going to tap that right leg back you're going to turn towards the middle yes we're going to open up our legs out wide your knees are gonna be facing towards your toes. So you're like in this wide-legged position. You're gonna bring your hands behind your back. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna lower into your hips. You're gonna bring your right elbow towards your right thigh. Center, exhale, left elbow 
left thigh. Inhale, exhale, other side. Beautiful. Yes. Little oblique crunches here, getting through our core. Inhale, exhale. The standing series is no joke. You got four. Three, remember, we're gonna pretend like you're in a window plane. You are not moving forward. You are standing nice and tall. Maybe you tuck your tailbone just a slight bit. Two. And one. Beautiful. Bring your hands out in front of you. All right, my friends. Bring your feet facing towards the front. We're going to start with some nice little side lunges onto the left leg. Lengthen and bend. Push that core that bum towards the back wall. Yes. You got four. Three. Two. Smile, tracer line. We love this. And one. Turn your body over to the left side. Find that line. Nice long lunge. This time. Inhale, exhale. You're going to curl your hands out in front of you. When you extend, you're going to kick them back. You're going to extend that left leg. Curl, curl your hands in. Extend, tricep, little kick. Beautiful. There you go. Can you keep your chest lifted? Again, just bending through that knee and lengthening. You got it. Let's just do four more here. Keep that right heel lifted. Three. Really opening up through those shoulders. Two. And one. Beautiful. Can you bend? Lift that left leg, right leg up. Extend your hands behind you. Beautiful. Now this time, can you just extend? Bring your hands towards each other as you tap that leg down. Lift. Hands, palms towards each other. Lift for eight, seven. Really working those triceps. Three, a seven, six, five. You got it. Smile, guys. We can do this. Focus on that supporting leg. Two and one. Beautiful. Bring that right leg down. Twist your body towards the front. Beautiful. Bring your legs out wide. Take a deep inhale. You're going to bend. Raise your um, weights towards the top of your head. Exhale. Bend and straighten everything. Inhale. Exhale. Bend, lift, lengthen, lift, and lengthen. You got it. Working those shoulders, everything here. You got four. Smile, breathe. Two. And the power of one can you keep your hands out wide into a t pulse those legs up and down for eight seven six five four three two one bring those legs in drop your weight whoo beautiful guys you're gonna have this nice wide-legged position you're gonna bring your hands behind your back Inhale, exhale, fold over. Let it all go. Feel that nice stretch down your shoulders. Beautiful. Can you walk your hands over to the right? Feel that nice stretch down that right side of your leg. Inhale, exhale. Can you twist a little bit more? Ah. 
and then the right side inhale exhale twist yes so good guys inhale exhale you got it all right my friends we're gonna walk our hands all the way to the front this time bring that right leg back take a deep inhale exhale downward dog beautiful pedal out your feet and then you're going to walk your hands just slightly back and find yourself in the nice quadruple position so you want those shoulders over your wrist and knees are hovering we're just going to hold this hover for eight seven six five four three two one lower your hands lower your toes inhale that right hand up exhale can you thread the needle here inhale follow your gaze with your hand your eyes towards your hand inhale exhale inhale exhale last one inhale exhale lower can you lower that shoulder all the way down to your mat find this nice little stretch here <sighs> maybe you reach your top hand over to find that deeper stretch opening up your back and release left side inhale that left hand up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist you got it can you get a little bit deeper with each twist last one inhale up exhale twist lower that left shoulder down yes Feel that nice opening of your scapula. Inhale that right hand up if it's available. Maybe you bring it over your head. Four, three, two, and one. Lift. Beautiful, guys. Take those ankle weights off. We are all done for today take any additional stretches you guys might need but for the sake of time here today we're just going to close it out with nice little last breath together we're going to inhale our hands up into the sky exhale pray your hands thanking ourselves for being here for committing to our health not only for us but for those that come to our realms may we be able to keep in our mind our time how we are aligned to it how we are dedicating time for all the priorities in our lives from family friends emotional being jobs self-care all of it thank you guys i hope you enjoyed and we are all done i will see you guys tomorrow it is going to be super spicy so be ready and we will see you guys soon. Bye.